Hello guys. Today we are seeing a curtain side chiller we made for domestic market. Because we have changed our regulation of the traffic, we need to give air suspension and the disc brake for the other normal semi chiller. So for those type of curtain side, we can still use the leaf spring suspension. That's why we are making this uh, prototype for the expansion the day before today, the day after today. So here is the air connection and the electricity connection, electric connection, and the ABS socket. This is the ABS light. We are seeing the front panel. It could also be called bulkhead. And the curtain on the top is uh, removable. And the curtain in the side is opening from the rear to the front. And those are the fasteners to make sure the curtain side won't open when it's running. So you need to hook it up here. And it's all like this. This landing gear is especially for the China market because once we hook up the trailer, we never release the trailer from the tractor. So almost use the landing gear only once. We use the, this type of uh, weak design and double side operation landing gear. Here's the side protection and also you can also put some wood and toys and some low value devices here. And it can also be open once you open the device here and the open device there. You can open this cage and uh, to do some uh, stowing and uh, operation there. Here is the axle. We use the Fuha axle for this uh, prototype trailer. And the tire we're using is uh, double crown. Because of uh, the design is curtain side, so we still use the leaf spring suspension with a suspension hanger and equalizer which is different than the airbag suspension here is the mart guard and if we see from the rear we can see we have our chinese logo and chinese word to tell the customer if they don't want the air suspension and disc brake, they can choose the curtain side of us. At the rear, we have the connector phone over there and uh, the mud flapper. This is the rear guard, protect uh, any motorcycle or person running under the trailer. Here is the license light. We have a license light here, and this is uh, the normal uh, reverse light or the fog light. Here we are seeing the rear door. The rear door is about four locking bars, same like the container design. But the hinge are different from those uh, uh, containers. This is a trailer design hinge. If you operate uh, it here, we have a device here. And we can open it from here to the front. We shall take another video to show you how the curtain side is open. And this side is the same, but with a lockable two box here. This is a two box. We have a two separate two box for the domestic market use. And there is a one uh, side protection to protect uh, any small cars or motorcycle go under the trailer. Let's see what looks like under the trailer. Now we're under the trailer. You can see here is the cage we were seeing and these are two box. In the middle we still save a gap for the huge water tank. If the driver need they can install an extra water tank to prevent the, in the summer, the tires temperature are too hot. If we go closer, we can see here is the front, uh, 
the front suspension hanger, and we have the bucket here to prevent the when the trailer is turning, there have a lot of force here. So this one is quite important. And we use those two reinforcement plate to, to join the two suspension hanger and the first member as a square tube. So it is strong. We can see there a uh, leaf spring and U-boat and the air chamber. This line is ABS line, ABS line from uh, there, they get ABS signal and they use this line to pass to the monitor over, over there, I believe. Okay, that's uh, how it looks uh, from here and we can go back. We already have a, have a bar here because uh, the landing gear need to need this bar to have the strength. But as I was saying, the customer is just using this landing gear once, so they just don't care about the bar. Now from here we can see the cross member and the other structures under the chassis. And you can see the welding quality of us. Here is the line of the braking line. And this is the electricity line. We're going back, this is the king pen. This type is uh, 3.5 inch, which is uh, 90 millimeter diameter on the king pen plate. And under the king pen plate, we have the reinforcement plate over there and all along, all to the behind, up to here. So it gives the Frame a lot of strength. Okay, let's go to the back side. We can also go under the trailer from here. You can see the light from the backward. And we have run some tests, so it's a little bit dirty from the rear. This is a leaf spring, leaf spring hawk. This part is quite important. It prevents uh, the leaf spring consume this boat very fast. We need to have this to prevent that. Okay, that's a uh, slight adapter. That's a uh, air chamber. This is air reserve tank. This is aluminum air reserve tank, which is a more less weight, less heavy than the steel ones. We have uh, made those uh, made those uh, lines are very neat. The noise you are seeing is the wind because I didn't lock the curtain side. Noise. Where the noise came from? It's from here. This is uh, when you open the rear door and look inside of the curtain side. It's actually it's quite empty. And those. Uh, are all removable. You can put a, a play wood in the middle to make it a three layer or two level or three level to make sure you have more cargoes, especially when you are doing the package stuff. And the roof is uh, removable. You can open the roof from here and all the way to the front. Now we won't do that today because uh, it requires us somebody to help us. But you get the idea very easily, right? Okay, so we have a one, two, three, four, five. Five posts each side. And we also have a one, two, three, four, five. Five, uh, those type of a steel bar each side to make sure you can do some modifications and put some uh, bars in the middle and uh, hand some uh, necessary toggle hopes, something like that. Okay, let's get to the top. More details of the top device and this is uh, how the gate gesture is sending the water from the outside to the inside. You can easily see the material of this uh, door is quite uh, it's the inside and we can see more details more clearly. You can see the door gesture here is 
this gas chairs prevent the water from the outside to the inside. And uh, this is the door, you can easily see the material from this uh, profile. This is a foaming and very light. So the door is quite light, you can easily operate it. See? I'm operating it just by fingers, but it is quite dangerous for my fingers, but let's just have a little try. Okay. All right. For the floor, we have the smooth uh, steel floor and uh, the bars, the post we were seeing before. It is all removable, but with a top reel. And this is uh, how it looks like uh, inside of the bulkhead. The bulkhead is preventing the cargo to run through the bulkhead to the drive cab. That's the curtain. And the noise is the wind. Wind is uh, blowing the curtain because I didn't ask them to fasten all the parts for the video we can take. So that's all the details inside and I hope you guys see all things very clear. All right, let's go down. That's uh, when we close the door and uh, that's, uh, I think that's everything we need to say about uh, this prototype trailer. That's our phone in China. You can call this number and get our sales very easily. Alright, hope you guys enjoy today's video and if you have any comments please leave it below or email us. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye.